hearing shit. I don't like it. It's getting spooky scary. Hmm. It's pretty out here. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. <clears throat> You're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Yeah, but I don't know what. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So hmm. the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Jeez, I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. <laughs> Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Mm, well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. I don't even know how I would get in. <laughs> it's really strange that that's out there, by the way. It is, I agree. Weird. Can I climb it? Hmm. Nope, nothing. They can't do that. Okay. Jack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Flapjack. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful. Hmm. She have. <clears throat> She's got. Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. 43 isn't that old, man. What was it like when you guys found out? We were scared shitless. We went straight to the doctor after her first spell or whatever. They diagnosed her and we were both just very scared. Can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She was very quiet. Hmm. Okay, I have no idea where I'm going. Or what I'm doing. But I'm putting that hook there. That's where I'm at there. I'm hearing music. It's relaxing music. I don't 
know what it means. But I'm feeling safe. I don't know if that's a good thing. Hmm. Alright, we'll make a left. We should be able to go back. Oh, this music makes me feel adventurous! Okay, what's this say? This is familiar. I stumbled over and told her she was pretty, and that was it. Oh, you were brave. I was drunk. Hmm. This is familiar. I gotta tell you, all this climbing and jumping, it's pretty invigorating. Just wait for the rest of the summer when you'll be sitting on your fat ass 14 hours a day. Oh, I uh, didn't mention that they made the hillside up here their own personal dumpster. <sighs> I am serious, Henry. I want these girls to never, ever want to go backpacking ever again. I hear you. Okay, I'm back. I think I'm back where I was. Yeah. I'm back where I was. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm hmm Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, this is it. This is the way... Another long drop. Wee. Something. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. All right. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. We got a... We'll do. We got a, uh, a lead, at least. Smoke plume. What are you going to do when the fire season wraps up? Are you going to go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. <laughs> oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I, uh, I think they always thought she could do better, and 
that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. I will. Okay. It's that way. Where's the fire? I lost it. Did your wife's illness have anything to do with you taking this job, or did she just fall prey to the service's big recruiting push? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? Actually, I went looking for the job. I just wanted to get out of town for a while. Well, you've come to the right place. Thanks to last summer, we got a bump in forest service budget and can actually afford to have you. <laughs> What happened last summer that accounted for this, um, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Oh, Jesus. Yellowstone is, like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. Oh. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. Jesus. I and mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? <laughs> so what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it, but we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. <laughs> the goddamn park can burn down again. Ooh, this is pretty. Yeah, this is definitely not the game I thought it was. Still pretty cool though. Okay, we're getting close to that fire. I don't like the sound of the fucking shit made when I got in the water. Is that a fucking angry duck? Stop it. God damn it. Game. There's really no way past some of this underbrush that's grown over the trail. See, the thornier a trail is, the less inclined a ranger is to want to deal with it. They'll just hike or take their horse a different way. Hmm. Aha! Another note. Let's see, read Q. Ron, got some bad news back at home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though? Budgets being what they are, 
Did you get my note about what went down in Watatwapati? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up, Dave. P.S. Amigos in Spanish is professionals in Italian. And a professionals is Italian. That's hilarious. Okay, we're going to hold on to that. What else we got? Another book. The Fourth Estate. Okay. Uh, I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. Maybe it's one of the girls? I mean, it's been here a long time. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. <laughs> Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. Yep. That is very true. 